Hey everybody, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Uh, let's play Kagiro Deception 2. I'm gonna be calling it Deception 2 because I can't pronounce the first part very well. Uh, Deception 2 was made by Tecmo in 1998, as it says in the bottom. Uh, it's basically an RPG strategy game? I don't know actually what genre it would fall under. Probably RPG. But it's kinda unique. Why? It's basically traps the game. Alright, here's our main character. We caught a glimpse of her. Okay, uh, let's just go with the default name. Her name is Melania. Melania. I'll probably just call her Melania. But yeah, the point of this game is to basically ward off intruders with lots and lots of traps. Mostly rocks, but more, but there are a lot of traps. Here's a little backstory. Yes, that says time noids. As we're gonna learn very quickly, the people who translate this game have no idea how names work in English. How do you define superior in every way? Okay. Oh, that's very nice of them. And they gain power naturally. I honestly don't see what the problem here is. Yeah, that that doesn't sound ominous at all. Alright. Let's see, these are time noids. They're blue. And yes, her name is Yokel. And that's not how you spell eclipse. And apparently Yokel Yokel is Melania's mother. Don't know how that works. She's probably the girl from the intro, but who knows. I think she understands how valuable immortality would be. Okay. Isn't it your job to educate her? What have you been doing for the last... I think she's 16, if I remember correctly. Alright, now then, here is our main menu. This is going to show up before every level. Now here are our main weapons of destruction, traps. I'll show these off later, but right now I don't have very many. And I don't have any money to buy any new traps. Uh, we can take a look at the map of the area we're going to be in. The castle in the forest, we're going to be spending a bit of time here. Excuse me. <coughs> We can take a look at what enemies we're going to face. We're going to face a villager named Dar. Yes, Dar. The, game, the names are just going to get sillier from here. Alright, let's start our first battle. Yeah, she's not going to be that innocent for much longer. This is a castle? It's kinda run down. This oh by the way, that's Millennia. She's our main character. She's also a silent protagonist and will not show any emotion at any time. That is her one facial expression. You sure do have a lot of confidence in the teenage girl who can't actually swing any weapons. Have you actually told her what her mission is, or is it just to kill anyone who comes into the castle?
Yep, that's a blue moon. It heals us. That's basically it. Yep, uh, I can explain this later. I can. I will show them how to use traps. Don't worry. Looks like we have an intruder. Guess we have to take care of them. Okay. Come take care of our intruder, friend. All right. So this is the main battle screen. The upper left there is our enemy, Dar the Villager. That's his life bar. And here's Dar. That that wasn't a yes or no question. Um. Yes. All right. So, from when we push the O button, we can bring up the map. And from the map, we can set some traps. Let's see. Now, we can set three traps in every room. A floor trap, a wall trap, and a ceiling trap. Ceiling traps are things that drop from the ceiling, usually. Like rocks. Lots and lots of rocks. Uh, let's see. Wall traps, things that come out of the wall. Let's see, we have an arrow slit. We can position that on any wall in the room. Uh, let's just do it up here where he is right now. Uh, let's see. Mega rock. We can drop a rock on someone. Rocks are may probably going to be my main way of attacking. Uh, they're pro really powerful, but they kind of ha don't have big range unless they're on a slope. So we can put one on the stairs. And floor traps. Uh, we have a bomb that will knock them forward two blocks. Not that useful, actually. And a bear trap, which will make him unable to move. Much more useful. Let's put one right under his feet. Alright. Now, as those bars on the bottom right charge up, if we push the butt- Oh, once they're done, like that. Come on. Trigger bear trap. Trigger arrow trap. Oh crap, he's not dead. And I can't get a rock on him. Come on. And arrow trap again. And he's dead. Yeah, no, they're not going to stand still for the rest of the game. Don't worry about that. Oh, crap. Oh, my trap exploded. That was easy. And that was the first mission. That was really easy because he doesn't move. And here are our results screen. We got paid for that. Nice. Ark is the money in this game. What do we do with Ark? We buy more traps. That, that's basically it. We buy traps. Slash isn't that bad of a name. Is it the guy I just murdered? Why was he in the castle anyways? Alright, looks like we have a new victim. First things first. I want to buy some traps. Let's see what we have. Uh, attack wall, that could be useful. Magnet, that's actually pretty useful, I want that. What a magnet does is, it's a wall trap. It attracts people from two squares away. So yeah, it's pretty useful. Okay. Let's see, what else can- oh! Oh, I want- oh, I should have bought a spike rock! I like rocks! Uh, let's- we can buy a heavy claw. To place our bear trap. Especially just a bear trap, but it, uh, causes more damage. And I think it lasts longer, too. Yep. Okay, I don't have any money left. Alright, let's- oh, wait, they're automatically equipped, never mind. Right? Let's see who we're facing, shall we? We're facing Slash. Quite a bit more HP. Right, uh, let's say for now. Alright, let's start this. My rocks thirst for blood.
Oops. Well, I guess there's a castle in the. Why is there a castle in the middle of the forest that everyone seems to go to? No, you're not. All right. We have a new guest. Yep, there's a teenage girl here. Uh, <laughs> killed. Um, there was no choice? Alright, first thing first, let's get some traps down. Let's see. I want a heavy claw at the bottom of the stairs. I want an arrow slit next to the heavy claw. And I want a mega rock on the stairs. And now let's wait for him to come up. By the way, yes, we can be hurt by our own traps. And yes, I've killed myself with my own traps before. Right, wait for it. Heavy claw. Oh, damn it, I missed. No, no, ow. No. Come on. Get, oh, damn it, I missed again. I'm not that good at this. Okay, heavy rock. Arrow slit. Come on, heavy rock. Oh, that rock missed. Fine, let's try this again. Normally, I'm not this crap. Actually, I think I'm going to re reposition this. I want a magnet instead. It has bigger range. And then a heavy claw. There we go. That should do better. Hey, buddy. Come on. Come over here. Oh, crap. My magnet's not charged up enough. Come on. Hey, buddy. And go! Alright, now, wait for him. Wait for it. Drop the magnet. Get the claw. And push the rock. Oh crap, move, move. There we go. Oh, he's not dead yet. Um. Um. Heavy claw? Come on. Magnet. Come on, Mega Rock. You can do it. Mega Rock. Oh, that was easy. You know I screwed up. Wow, he bled a lot for being hit by a couple of rocks. Huh. Looks sounds like more victims. And that's a not good enough bonus. I would've gotten a lot more money if I didn't take damage. Gaston. Holy crap, that guy's huge. Alright. So I think that's gonna be it for this episode. So next time on Deception 2, we kill more people. Problem with more rocks. See you guys then.